Howdy, let's take a look at one more work problem, and then we'll go ahead and move on to a, a different chapter. So for this last problem, it says two unequal masses are connected by a massless, unstretchable string which goes over a frictionless pulley. The lighter mass, M1, is attached to a spring which is also attached to the floor. The spring has a spring constant K, and is unstretched when the masses are held at rest <laughs> or held at rest <laughs> in the position shown. The masses are then released. And so in part A, isolate M1 and M2 and draw the free body diagram for it. So let's take a look at M1. That's going to be this block right here. As always, first, gravity MG is straight down. You have no normal force, you have no friction, because you have no surface. And so you're, you have two external forces. You have a tension, pulling it up, and you have a spring, we're going to call it K times Y, the force of that spring coming down. And then as for M2, you get M2G coming down. You have no normal, you have no friction, because you have no surface. Your only other external force is that tension coming up. And if you remember, over a frictionless pulley, the tensions on either side of the pulley are exactly the same. Now I'm going to set the positive y direction as up, and so if it's going to move some height h, we're going to call this point right here y equals 0, and the point at which it starts right here for m2 starts, it's y equals h. And in part b, it says apply the work energy theorem to each mass if the heavier mass works moves down. And so the work energy theorem first, you start off by saying your network is your change in kinetic energy, and because this starts from rest, we know that our initial velocity is going to be zero, and then you'll have some final velocity, I don't know what it is, it didn't say that it stopped after it moved to height h, it just said that it moves a distance height h, and so we'll have some final velocity. Then after that you integrate all your forces, but I gotta be a little careful with this. I need to do it for each block individually. I need to do it for each block individually, because they're moving in opposite directions, okay? Block 1 is moving from y equals 0 up to y equals h. Block 2 is moving from y equals h to y equals 0. I'm going to keep everything consistent, but everything needs to stay um, consistent according to however you set up your axis. And so, your network, which is mv squared over 2, you have the m1 via squared over 2 is the integral from 0 to h of all your forces, t minus the m1g minus the k times y. And for block 2, your m2 v squared over 2 is equal to h to 0 of your t minus m2g. And once you've done that in part c, it says, find the velocity of that mass after it's moved down. Now we're just ask, asking to solve for it. So all I did here is I integrated block 1, went from 0 to h. So I got the th minus m1gh minus the kh squared over 2. Integrated this one, but notice since I'm going from h to 0, these in essence turn negative. Because you're plugging in the top minus plugging in the bottom. So that's why I get a minus th plus m2gh. And then after that, I have two equations. And yeah, technically, ish, I've got a couple unknowns, but I need to just add these two together. Add these two together, because it's going to be the sum of the kinetic energies is equal to the sum of all the works. And uh, technically, your other unknown was tension, but the tension's canceled out. And then after that, we just did a little bit of algebra in order to solve for that VF.